I cosplayed as Sergeant Hammer from Heroes of the Storm, and I'm going to show you how I made my costume. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel, and thanks for joining me for a cosplay craft. This year at San Diego Comic-Con, I cosplayed as Sergeant Hammer from Heroes of the Storm and I documented all the steps to making her costume. So this is part one. Sergeant Hammer's belt, bows, and hammer. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know, you can support me for $1 a month on Patreon. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description box below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. Before I began my cosplay build, I downloaded the PDF from Blizzard Entertainment. Blizzard put out a series of helpful guides for people who want to cosplay as their characters. For Sergeant Hammer's belt buckle, you will need a 4-inch wooden circle, a 4-inch wooden star, brushed gold acrylic paint, brushed bronze acrylic paint, paint brushes, wood glue, a drill, and thick gauge brass or gold wire. To complete the belt you will need a brown canvas belt and two olive green belt pouches. For Sergeant Hammer's bows you will need pink craft foam or felt. Pink glitter paint is optional. Scissors, a glue gun and glue sticks, and four alligator clips. And finally, for Sergeant Hammer's hammer, you will need a plastic toy hammer. I used a toy replica of Thor's hammer Mjolnir. Dark brown paint, brushed silver acrylic paint, a black marker, and Mod Podge mat. First, we're going to work on Sergeant Hammer's belt buckle. Start with the wooden disc and brushed gold paint. Make sure you have full coverage with the gold paint and then let it dry completely. Next, I'm working with folk art, brushed gold, and brushed bronze to give this star a two-tone look. Remove any hardware from the wood shape and then go in with the darker color and paint every other diamond. Let the bronze paint dry. Then go in with the lighter gold color and paint the remaining diamonds gold and let the gold paint dry. Don't forget to go back and paint the edges of the star with the corresponding metallic paint you used on the top. Once all of the metallic paint is dried, it's time to go in with a black marker and outline the edges of the star and create an inner circle on the background disc. I wish I had used a wider tip marker or even black paint to get a darker line than the one you see here. Next, it's time to glue down the star to the disc. I recommend wood glue for a permanent bond. I used hot glue here, but be aware, hot glue can melt in a hot car and loosen or fall apart. So be careful when you use it in your cosplay. Next, it's time to add wire to the belt buckle so it can be affixed to the belt. I drilled two small holes on the left and the right. Then run a piece of wire up through the back to the front on each side. The wire is going to be wrapped around the belt hardware here and here. Make sure the belt can still open and close when you wrap the wire. Another part of the belt assembly are two belt pouches. These are threaded onto the belt with loops stitched behind each pouch. They look good as is. I just decided to paint the snaps with a brushed gold. While you have the brush gold paint out, you can also add gold details to your camouflage pants if you want to. There are four gold brads on each knee. 
To make the bows for Sergeant Hammer's boots and pigtails, cut out pieces from pink felt or craft foam. You will need two large bows for the boots and two small bows for the pigtails. For the large bows, I started with felt that's 9 inches long and 2 inches wide. This is going to be folded in with an inch gap. The center of the bow is 1.5 inches wide and 4 inches long. The tails of the large bow should also be around 1 inch wide and 4 inches long. These are the steps to make the large bow. Using hot glue, fold in and glue the left and right sides of the bow with a 1 inch gap in the middle. Then pitch the center of the bow and hot glue the small center piece around it. Glue it in the back and cut off any extra. Next it's time to cut the tail ends for the bow. Start with your 1 by 4 inch pieces. Trim the rectangles into flared tails and glue them together at a slight angle. Then hot glue the bow on top. The next step is optional, but I like to add glitter to everything. So I decided to add some pink glitter paint to my bow. Once the paint is dry, the final step is to attach an alligator clip to the back with hot glue. Don't forget to make two bows. The hair bows are much simpler. Use a small rectangle of felt and pinch the middle. Glue the middle together. Then wrap a small strip of felt around the center and glue it in the back, trimming any excess. Then add an alligator clip with hot glue. Once again, I added some sparkle. Once the glitter paint has dried, your bows are ready to clip right onto your boots and wig. The third part of this tutorial is how to make Sergeant Hammer's hammer prop. I started with a toy plastic Thor hammer, some dark brown paint, and some brushed silver paint. Cut off the fabric wrist strap, then paint the entire handle the same color brown. Use the silver brushed metal paint and cover the silver portion of the hammer. Make your brush strokes in all different directions to enhance the metallic look. Be sure to give both the handle and the top of the hammer two or more coats for full coverage. When the paint is dry, it's time to add a star to the front of the hammer. You can do this freehand, or you can do what I did. I found a star shape online and printed it out the right size for the project, then cut out a stencil to trace around. The final step is to add a generous coat of Mod Podge matte to the entire hammer to protect the paint and star design from chipping. Once the Mod Podge has dried completely, your hammer is ready to add to your cosplay. If you'd like to see how I created a helmet and goggles, gloves, a wig, and some clothing for my Sergeant Hammer San Diego Comic Con cosplay, check out my other three videos. Thanks so much for crafting with me, you guys. I have four videos in my Sergeant Hammer cosplay playlist, so if you've missed any of those, check out that playlist. And if you enjoyed this craft and you want to see what's coming next on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, you can support me for $1 a month on Patreon. I put a link in the description box below.